Two years straight, I was just uploading <laughs> to the air. Nobody was watching mm. them. So, I'm not going anywhere. Bro, let's see when my allergies start hitting. I, I, so, 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 I don't know how allergic to cats I am. <gasps> because sometimes I react, sometimes I don't. I don't react to peanuts. Peanuts is hypoallergenic. Maybe you're Bruh. allergic to this one. Hi. Hajima. <gasps> <gasps> You have the black MacBook. Yeah, I do. It's so pretty. It's so nice. It's it works, so nice. It's so quick to edit. Oh my god. Okay. The video version. Actually, you're the first person I've done in person. Because everyone else has just been video call. Anyway. I should do this more often. I, I want to do this more often. That's a goal in 2024. I would want to listen to you every week. Really? Oh, every week. Okay, I'll just talk about Xinjiang. I mean, uh, yeah, let's find some stuff to talk about. I feel like video version, I could put captions. Chinese. In the vlog is gonna, in the audio recording is gonna be a little bit hard, but okay. Today we're here with introduce yourself. <laughs> Let's do it again. Let's do it again. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the most updated video of me. I'm filming it the second week of January, and I'm gonna upload it this week. So, <laughs> oh, I haven't done this in so long. I can't. Let's okay. do it again. Or you want to keep nah, it? No, let's just keep it. Okay. We authentic out here. Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Noria. You might have seen me on YouTube or on TikTok or on Instagram or on Little Red Book. Little Red Book. Xiao Xu. <laughs> <laughs> I am everywhere. But yeah, I'm a content creator and I'm based in London. So where we're at right now. I've wanted to bring back this podcast idea for a while because i meet up with so many of my creative friends every place i travel to and uh um, <laughs> trying to hold in my lap why are you laughing uh, it's a little backstory you tell it okay <laughs> I'm, I'm a very bad storyteller but basically we have a friend called andy hi andy and um andy was uh, visiting from california yeah, he came to london for a few days and we decided to meet up and his plus one was Joanne, and that's how we met. We we went for a hot pot. Yeah. I took them to a really expensive it's hot, a hot pot. pot. Bro, my first impression, okay, it's not it's not bad, but like I was like, ah sh I knew hot pot was gonna be so expensive in London. It ended up being like 50 pounds, but I was like, ah, oh, you know what? It's okay. It's a uh, <laughs> it's like right on Chinatown Street too. I was just really craving hot pot. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, but it was I, our first time meeting, so it wasn't like only oh, Lawa Jatsu or like yeah. come over. Yeah. But I didn't expect it to be that expensive. I think it's because we ordered a lot, a lot. first of all. And the was, sauces, the hell? Yeah. Lesson learned: don't order so many sauces because I didn't think like I didn't think the plate would be so big. Yeah. Like no. you could share. Yeah. Yeah. It was good though. It, yeah. Yeah. It was good. We ate so much. Uh, yeah, I was so full after. <laughs> My first impression with you was um. Mm. I just thought you were very social, very outgoing mm. as well. Yeah. What yeah. else? Not much actually. That's it. Chill. That's good though. It's better that you don't have too much, too much to say. First impressions. Um, what was my first impression? Mm. Do I did I look like the did, internet? Did I did I look oh, like the way that I looked like it? I think you do. I think you because you you just seem very like, this is you. Yeah. Well, you came in with your fur coat though. <laughs> Wait, I need to say something. Okay, so Andy and I both like wore our nicest pieces of clothing. <laughs> I'm gonna you. I'm gonna call out Andy for this one. He literally brought a um a button up and he's like, I'm gonna wear this when we get <laughs> because you you came in with a fur coat like that I. That's all I have to say, you know? And then I, I had to... What did I wear? I wore my most expensive jacket. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the nicest one too. It's from Goni. Oh, it's the same brand as this. I'm wearing it today too because, you know, so many things to film. This is kind of pricey. This was like... I don't... Uh, I need what a brand is this? It's a Korean brand. Goni? Goni? It's like... Oh, of, yeah. It? It's, it's, I, thought, I thought it stands for Glow New York. Oh. I don't... So the 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 quality is very nice though. That jacket was this much, and this one was, I think, this much or is the same price. The top. This. It's so expensive, but like, 
I really but it's like cute. it. It's really cute. It's really cute, and it's like, it's form fitting, and it's so warm. Like I'm not wearing anything under this except for. Uh, Oh, not wearing anything. <laughs> I'm wearing this sweater and I don't have anything underneath and I'm actually freezing. Well, yeah. Now I'm fine, but outside I was outside, freezing. Yeah. And you survived that little photo shoot though real quick. Like if I were you, I'd be like, holla, 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 holla. Like, I'd be, but my nose was really red. Uh -huh. Like when I get really cold, my nose just goes red. But gotta do what you gotta do. For the, for the grab. Dude, you post so fast. But girl, you have, just, you have to think that I haven't posted in a really long time. Like I, back in the day, like... Maybe a few months ago, oh. I was really on top of everything and mm -hmm. I would post at least once every two days. Holy! Like, or like at least once a day. Oh. And I was very active. I would oh. be always posting and stuff. Um, but recently, I've just been going through a slump. I've also been okay. sick. Break. So I haven't Take been active on the internet. And I've got people like asking me, are you okay? Oh my god. <laughs> so, See, hey, you got, you got your community caring for you. That's, that's nice. So I had to, I had to come back yeah. quick. So. But like for me, it's like if I haven't posted a long time, I think about that post post more. That's my mindset. Like, what do you mean? Like, it's like I, I haven't posted in a while. I'm like okay, the fo okay, the so post the, the the one the com the coming back <coughs> the comeback needs to be good. Like I keep this photo for one day if I do have something I want to talk about, rather than because I for me okay I feel like if I post too much I guess less comments. Do you think so too? Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Like engagement does drop, drop. because you you post so much, right? Um, but it's a fine line because like if you don't post as much, the then, then then the algorithm or like the engagement also like the, also the net yeah. like goes down as well. I don't know, it's a tricky thing. It is a tricky thing. It's really tricky. You've been doing this for so much longer than me though. What did I? What I I wrote something. Yeah. This is this is what we were just talking about. When did you start not caring about like the little things? Posting on Instagram, just like, oh, fast pace. Because you did that in like five minutes. I honestly was like baffled <laughs> and then you're like you, you said oh, what should i caption this Burr. Burr. and they ended up just adding a, a cute photo and being like taking the vlog camera back out it's very cute casual like that when did that switch i think it's always been like this always like because i've been doing like this is my this has been my hobby my whole entire life so mm. it comes very natural to me oh, for the people who don't know how long is your whole entire life I've st I started making YouTube videos when I was 12 and I'm 21 now. Yeah. That's crazy. Like, I actually feel the most comfortable when I am talking to a camera mm. rather than like with people. Because <laughs> you're just like, I don't have to, but like right here, you can just real, look at the camera. In real life situations, I uh. freeze, but in front of a camera, I think I pretty, pretty natural. Oh. Uh. Yeah. You know, I, like, well, I feel like when we talk to something, you very natural too is fine yeah thanks that's good <laughs> the, but yeah um, there was a video i saw yesterday this guy was basically talking about how did i health. start yeah i i discovered youtube when like in the summer and mm. i back then i was i oh, i can't talk i discovered youtube in the summer because I was really bored and I didn't have friends because I had just moved to a new city. Mm -hmm. So I was like changing schools and everything and so I didn't have friends. And the only thing I could do was surf on the internet. Like at the time I had a laptop and I was just on the internet and mm. I discovered YouTube. Mm. And I started binge watching like the beauty community YouTubers like Michelle Fawn, Amanda, like Makeup Amanda 24, mm. Bethany Moda, like they were doing the morning routines that was, I was so obsessed with the morning routines videos and I, I got so obsessed that I decided to make one myself and I uploaded Slay. that and it got 14 views and I was so happy and I was like, I'm gonna be a YouTuber from now on uh -huh. and that's how I started. That's how you started. That's yeah. cute. I think for me, I my story changes depending on who I'm talking to, but and there's like a long form and short form, but basically I started making like, I went to con Korean concerts, K-pop concerts, and I was filming fan cams of it. And then they were doing really well. And then I started feeling like, mm, maybe, cause I've always loved vlogging ever since I was like fifth grade. Every time I hang out with my friends, I'm the one with the phone. Snapchat memories are all mine. So every like five years I send stuff back to friends. Um, now it's, it would be like seven years cause you know, it's a while, but I don't, I don't have Snapchat anymore. Do you still use Snapchat? No, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I don't use Snapchat. Don't use Snapchat. I only Snap look Snapchat is one of the social media platforms that I don't know don't how use. it works. 
I, I like I genuinely like if you if you're content creator on Snapchat, oh. you should have like a pu- public profile, right? Right, right, right. But then like, how do you differentiate the people that add you and like I don't know, subscribes to you? So yeah, confusing. yeah. I I don't get that one either. Yeah, but um, yeah. And so I was filming stuff, and then like my first vlog really was going to KCon. Do you know KCon? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I I went to KCon, filmed that, and then I started traveling. Oh no, no, I started doing like Korean fashion videos, like. Yes, style. Yeah, yes, style. We're talking about yes, style. Um, yes, style halls, and they did really well. I was like, oh, okay, maybe keep this going. And then I started traveling. I went to Taiwan, and then went to Korea. And I started <laughs> make the cats are running. Um, I started making like vlogs from there, and then ever since then, I kind of just slowly took a step away from K-pop stuff. And it's so true, actually. If you're like a huge K-pop fan, I'm. This is I'm not the first one to say this, but. You go to Korea, you become less of a K-pop fan. I I don't know if it's because it's so much around you already, or if it's just like time as time goes on, or it's like you know the groups kind of just like end, um, and then, or it's like there's so much other things that Korea offers. You just end up yeah no, not definitely. as interested in definitely. K-pop. So also I think with age, yeah, because when I was in school, it was either studying or something else, right? Like mm-hmm. in order Find to escape else. from like studying, I would just watch K-pop. K-pop concerts or K-pop like concerts. The, the live the live videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The S- but I feel SBS, like yes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's so different back then versus now. Like, there's so many different things, but that's also probably why like the group of people kind of like shift away from K-pop. It's like we we're probably like third generation. Who was your favorite group back then? Do you remember? EXO. Oh, you were EXO. Say, uh, favorite favorite member. Dio, his voice is beautiful. Say Dio. Oh, oh, Dio, though. Kyungsu. He does an amazing voice. My He's favorite group. Pretty. <laughs> <coughs> I don't know why I coughed just now. <laughs> <coughs> My favorite group was GOT7. Mm. Yeah. There's so many things to talk about GOT7, how JYP didn't have whatever treatment, but they're they a really good group. They're not a group anymore, right? They, they actually just... they do their own thing. Like, they left JYP, but then they do their own thing as their own separate right like got some official something like that but they did like a comeback after like two years of disbanding and then that was the same summer that i was in korea so 2022 i went to two other concerts and then i got to like see them really up close it was really cool yeah these are not conversations this is this these are not topics i thought about in the first place what we can talk about this interactions with subscribers because this was a this was a really really cute interaction you should tell the story i tell the story okay yeah. so the last time nuri and i hung out we we went shopping and then you know as every friend group <laughs> every <laughs> hangout activity basically we decided to <laughs> go get photo booth pictures and then we walked in the store and then i'm in london right so i'm in nuria's like i don't know what i almost said hometown i'm in your your base okay. your yeah yeah your base <laughs> your base and basically they there were like a group of girls and then one of them came up and then she was like oh i watch your videos and i literally pointed at myself because i was like me because she was talking to me and because i'm like i'm with new Year right now <laughs> and the, the other girl in the friend she watched your videos right yeah but she was basically like, oh yeah, like you just posted your Taiwan guides and your travel vlogs and stuff like that, which I was so shocked because that's literally what I posted the day before. Interaction like that. What, what's what been your most memorable interaction? Because that one's my probably like top three for me. Oh, I know. It was in Fashion Week, during Fashion Week. In? It was in Milan, Milan, Milan Fashion Week. And I was waiting outside to go to a show. And usually before going into the show, there's a lot of photographers. Oh, how tall! <laughs> Yo, now I see why you squealed earlier. Oh my god! Yeah. How was it? I wore I wore thicker. Oh my god! Nails are sharp. Yeah, I need to cut them. Sorry. Wow. What? We're. Oh my god! I almost cussed. Okay. Anyway, it's not like I don't. I just. I feel like. Do you like not cuss on? I do. I do. I cuss a lot, but uh, my New Year resolution is to cuss less. <laughs> I want to have a, a nicer vocabulary. My, but this is this is my journal. What did I write here? I, like there were like ins and outs. <laughs> Less cursing. Yeah. No, I think it's, <coughs> it just sounds better when you don't curse. 
you seem more, you know? Mm, you seem more eloquent. Mm, yeah. Anyways, what was I saying? Uh, M- Milan. Milan. Oh, yeah. Um, so uh, before a show, usually there's photographers trying to take pictures of the guests, uh, of, like for their outfits and stuff. And this girl took a few pictures of me and then she came up to me and she was like, I'm actually a long, like long time <gasps> subscriber. Like I've been watching your videos since you started. Mm-hmm. And the reason I came to Europe was because <gasps> she watched my videos. I think she was from Japan, I'm pretty sure. Oh. And um, yeah, she said that she decided to study abroad because she watched one of my like videos because I, I, I lived in Spain, in Barcelona, so all mm. of my content was kind of like surrounding that. And whenever I travel, it would be in European countries. Mm. So I think that was the most heartwarming. I think it's just crazy that people actually get inspired by me. Watch the video of mine, they decided to like study at that like place. spent a, a, a chunk of their time of their life exactly and moved to a new place yeah it's such a life-changing decision for as sure. well so for sure i think that was the most memorable one mm-hmm. i cried after that oh! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like now kind of being on this side it's it's very cute to see just like other people being inspired by your work and it's, it sounds kind of depressing but sometimes i feel like if i don't because i'm like one of my love languages is words of affirmation. So I feel like if I don't hear it often or I don't see it, because social media is so like, oh, notifications. I didn't, I got a few comments. I feel very like acknowledged, like, oh, my hard work is yeah, actually definitely. being put through. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree. I think it's one of the loneliest jobs. Yeah. Like, although yes, you have like a following, right? And you're supposed to be surrounded by the <coughs> community. But at the end of the day, like you edit by yourself, you film by yourself, mm-hmm. you go about your day by yourself. Mm-hmm. Um, and it can get really lonely and mm. nobody really tells you if you're doing good or not yeah like yes there's feedback online but it's so abstract mm. i have a topic okay you go. do you ever feel do you ever feel like like burned out as in do you ever feel like you're doing stuff just because for the mm. vlogs or for like the content <coughs> that you like slowly just kind of lose your own hobbies because mm. for me it's like that like you've done this for so long like I, I had periods of time where I couldn't really get out of bed and like put on makeup and dress up and put on an outfit because I knew that even if it was like a day off and like a fun day just like for myself right mm. I would still be feel pressure to like document and everything mm. and so yeah and even like when I travel sometimes I just I don't even really want to travel which is so stupid to say like I'm First of all, very grateful that I get you trouble, right? Mm-hmm. But then it comes to the moment. I'm like, I don't really wanna. I don't really wanna go there. I just wanna be at home. Oh. Because if I if I have to present myself to the camera when I don't really want to, then you know. Honestly, the burnt out doesn't come from I'm being tired. The burnt out comes back because I'm not getting feedback. Right. Like. It's kind of like you're putting so much effort into something and then it doesn't. It doesn't do well. It doesn't like get get the recognition that you wish wished yeah it's always yeah. the videos i didn't put any effort into that do really well like i'm more specifically talking about tiktoks but um oh man i we're we're being so i'm, I'm my podcast this year i'm being like fully honest i'm honestly so always so like sad when i when i do content and i feel like this this Part of me felt embarrassed to say this last year, but it's more because I feel like I have a community, like, but I also don't. I feel like sometimes I get jealous of like YouTubers, like you, where you have a community of people coming back and watching your stuff and caring for you. But then I'll get comments on it, but I don't get like, I, it, I just don't feel like I have that community. So I feel very like lonely a lot of times. And then mm, it's like, you, maybe you don't, words. do you not have a sense of belonging low-key probably yeah because okay you know how you're talking about being like lonely like how this is, is like a lonely job yeah i i have a lot of creator friends and it's it's so fun but because everyone's on the internet and everyone's in so many different parts of the world it's like i don't have like a friend group you know it's like i feel like you do though you think yeah like maybe it's just not the constant one but that's because you're not in one place that's you know? true yeah if you, you, you are like every month Always. you're in a different country mm-hmm. but i think as you said like whenever you go to a new country you know that you will have like a Friends. group of people that you can like hang out with um 
which is good, mm. you know? Like, I think you're in a state of life where you're mm. going about, like, you're more about yourself now. Mm. Like, you're not in one place where you can give your time to, like, a certain group of people for, like, a constant time, right? Mm. Like, now you're just focusing on yourself, so mm. everyone in your life is, like, might be different because yeah. it's not about them, it's, it's about you. And I think it's that's a very really good fun. way to put it. Yeah, I think, I think you're doing very well. To be honest with okay. you, but I can understand you because yeah. I think I also experience these kind of like negative emotions that you can't really, really even like put into words. Mm. Like you don't even understand it yourself. But we are just like that. People, yeah. like humans, we're young men. We're twenty one. And like, humans are like this. Like yeah. you always want what you don't have, have, and you always think that other people have it all. But yeah. truthfully, they think the same way as you do or That's they true. feel the way as you do yeah. so i guess it's like because <clears throat> coming to london i'm hanging out with the friend group right now and they're so they're one of the most tight-knit like pretty drama free so chill like hey let me like we're coming over to your house what are you doing tonight like that's how we vibe and i've always wanted a community like this um <clears throat> but i feel like i guess i very much enjoy also being able to hop around and have so many friends in different places because i feel like i can also build that connection with that one-on-one -on -one person more and it's fun because I get to see that friend again abroad right um that type of thing so I guess I shouldn't be complaining <laughs> but it's like at times when I post videos I also because I have so many different topics sometimes I get like 10 comments a video sometimes I get like 30 sometimes I get maybe more because it went viral but I feel like I'm still struggling to build that community like if I were because bro I'm just gonna show you like, I want to build a community. I want to like, it sounds, I don't, to put it straightforward, I just want to gain more comments and engagement. Not for the numbers or for that. It's just literally just gain, build a community. But that's, for some reason, I can't, I just feel like I can't unlock that. I can gain a big audience for it, but I also don't want to be the allergy girl. I don't want to talk about my food allergies every single day. That's going to get boring and I'm going to get tired of it. That's why if I feel like I have... The ability to share travel tips i'm able to talk about my food allergies but then also share food recommendations with you then i want to do it all i also talk about skincare and eczema because that's me skincare is like an extension of it right but eczema is like this is how i deal with it how do i deal with it skincare or how do i deal with it diet or stuff like that but at the end of the day i always just tell myself just post what i want you know? yeah i and think that's the most important be you being too niche down just seems kind of... It's maybe good to grow, but like... But you have to think you kind of just started. Like you haven't been doing this for that long. Yeah. Right? It's been two years. Yeah, two years. Like it, it takes time. When I started, everyone was like, you're going to at least need like three years. And I was like, three years? Bruh. That's so long. Like, Even back in the days, like almost 10 years ago, when mm. it was considered to be easier to kind of like gain a following on the it internet hard. it took me two years mm. I mean, two, two years and a half maybe to actually like grow a, a constant following mm. and like have people to actually look forward to my next videos like for two years straight i was just uploading <laughs> to the air like in the, nobody was watching mm. them so yeah i think well, it's believe in yourself yeah and most importantly you have to be happy like you have to mm. make content and post content that you are happy, happy with because with, yeah. if you're not happy like whatever you do whatever you achieve is not going to be meaning I feel like I'm always so excited to put because like this is this actually this is my content calendar like I, I basically plan out what videos to post next because I have so much stuff I can post but then once I post it and it doesn't do well then I'm like ah shit all right next day so this is also why I don't do YouTube because I can I feel like I can spend the same amount of time to edit one YouTube video and I can edit 10 TikTok videos that's my mindset and I'm like I just I feel like YouTube low-key feels a little bit more slap in the face because the views are so low when you first start but I think for anyone starting YouTube it, it'll always start out like that like the, the right community will find you at one point <laughs> you have to watch the YouTube version to see this <laughs> anyway these are like conversations that I have with myself a lot you talk to yourself out loud yeah you do yeah I'm a YouTuber. I, <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do. We talk to ourselves. So, uh, uh, it's actually quite weird to me that people don't talk to themselves. Out loud? Yeah. Like, what do you mean? Bruh. I curse at myself out loud. Bruh. <laughs> I, I, <get> that <laughs> I I get mad at myself, so I'll be like, Yo, Joy, what the f like, like that? But then I won't be like, 
Oh, t- actually, it depends if there are people around. If there are people around, then I don't say it out loud. But if I'm by myself, then I might. Like, but it's usually in frustration that it comes out. Um, oh, do you not talk to yourself when you're happy though? Like, is it only out of frustration? I talk to myself 24-7. Maybe I should talk to myself when I'm happy. What? Wait, no, what? I don't. I don't. Wait, like, give me an example. Like, like for example, <laughs> if I wake up in the morning, good morning. Really? Dead ass? Oh my god. That's cute. Well, to be fair, I have cats. Oh, okay, so, yeah, so you're I'm not just talking to yourself. <laughs> but I, yeah, I know. <laughs> Good morning! <laughs> like, I would wake up and be like, oh, I'm so tired. But, like, literally, I would say it out loud. Oh, oh. Like, I'm so tired. Oh. Good morning. <laughs> what do I want to do today? What do I do I'm today? hungry. I need coffee. I would say it out loud. Uh, oh, he's all fell asleep. Aww. Oh. <laughs> She's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's a he. Oh, he? Uh, anyway. All right. All right. What should we? Oh wait, we had the Ooh. dim sum. <laughs> I'm too full to eat. You're too right full. Now. Hazel, nut. Do you just call her Hazel or nut? <laughs> Hazel or nut. <laughs> Hazel or nut. Hazel nut. Hazel nut. Hazel for short. Hey. <laughs> Yo. Gucci gucci. Thanks for listening. This was fun. Honestly, I had no idea how this was gonna go, but I think I think it went pretty well. Talk some low-key deep talks. My right. voice might be louder than yours. Really? Cause um, oh yeah. I, I talk loud though. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You're good. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Okay. Done. <laughs>